If you start skimming your K-Beauty toners, sheet masks, and serums, you might notice that there's a common ingredient in a lot of them that is betaine. Betaine is a small amino acid derivative that's actually found naturally in our skin and hair. Now, don't get this confused with the cocomidopropyl betaine or cocobetaine, which is a very common cleansing surfactant. These are two totally different things. While betaine may not sound glamorous, it's something of a sleeper ingredient that's been subtly gaining popularity in formulations thanks to its multiple benefits. In fact, betaine is not just a simple humectant, but more uniquely, it's also an osmolite, which helps to manage the water balance in skin cells. This concept is actually pretty important because that balance not only keeps skin hydrated in the moment, but helps ensure all your skin's processes are running efficiently for a long-term barrier health. Now, IFF ran a clinical study on 41 subjects and found that using 3% of their betaine was able to decrease tool transepidermal water loss after four weeks of twice a day use. And remember, that's just with betaine alone. The other thing you should know about betaine, and this is for all the formulators out there, is that it has a really light texture. We all know and love glycerin, it is the tried and true humectant, but when used at higher levels, glycerin can end up feeling really sticky and leave a tacky finish. Betaine, it can also help reduce the tacky feel of glycerin and other humectants. And even better, it's even found to work synergistically with glycerin to boost overall hydration. This probably explains why it's now so commonly found in Asian skin. All this to say, if you're looking for more hydration or come across betaine in your skincare. Know that it's working hard as part of your hydration game and keeping skin happy and healthy.